Hello everybody and welcome to the new MA tips. This time I want to show you a nice workflow improvement in version 1.1 in the GrandMA3 software, which is Interactive Sheets. With the Interactive Sheets we have a real interaction between our command line and many different sheets in the console. For example the 3D. So we have at 100 in the command line and we select some fixtures directly in our 3D and they get the 100%. We can also work in the DMX sheet, for example, when we want to park some dimmers. So we have park in the command line, you remember the double pause key is park and then we just select some DMX channels directly in the DMX sheet we want to park. You can see the blue value that these values are parked and we can work directly in the DMX sheet. Of course, this is also possible in the fixture sheet. So let's have a look at our parked channels over there. We type in the unpark command. You remember, go plus twice is unpark. And then we select the channels directly in our fixture sheet to unpark them. Let's have a look at the next window where this feature can be really helpful. It's the sequence sheet. So also the sequence sheet is interacting with our command line. Let's imagine we have a queue list like this. We take our fixture 101 and put it at 50%. Now we want to store it in queue number 3 and I can just press the store key and select the queue directly in the sequence sheet. We get the store mode pop up. Here we can select queue only for example, merge it and we have our 50% in queue number 3. We can also use the delete function. So we press the delete key, you can see it in the command line and I can just select some cues directly in the sequence sheet to delete them. You can see that this feature is a nice workflow improvement, especially taking the idea of working directly within the screens. Remember, you can also use this in the web remote, for example. So try this out, stay tuned and see you next time for the MA tips.